Where is it? Where is that hook? I know it's right here. Ah, you know what? I need to get better organized. Welcome to Hack a Week. So yeah, organization hasn't really happened here. I need a workbench and I need a little bit better space. This bench that I've been working off from for the last four years now, I think, was originally built for Maker Fair 2009, the first one I went to that I participated in in San Mateo, California. I loaded this up into my Honda Element drove 13 hours from Phoenix, Arizona to San Francisco to participate in that Maker Fair, and I designed it so that it would all come apart and be able to load into the back of the car. It's, every piece is six feet long and no wider than 24 inches, I think. But it's kind of outgrown its usefulness. I've used it in four different Maker Fairs now, I think. Uh, it tears down pretty easy, sets up pretty easy, and it's been taken apart and put back together I don't know how many times now. But, like I said, I think it's served its purpose. I may keep it and put it somewhere in here, but it's time to upgrade. It's time to get a wider workbench, get rid of this six foot overhead thing that I have to duck under every time I wanna get up here on the workbench. Uh, something a little wider, like I said, I got more room, and what I wanna do is run it all the way down this side of the garage. And, uh, well, that's what this video is gonna be all about. The planning of that project. How do you? Where do you start? What do you? What do you do? Well, you got to figure out what you want first. Let's take a look at this wall, and we'll talk about what I have in mind. Well, garages—they need to be organized, and uh, all of you people that have watched my videos over the last couple of years have seen this background behind me change quite a bit. Sometimes it's a total cluster fark. <laughs> And sometimes it's organized. Well, it tends to get a little disorganized as I do a lot of projects and we move things in and out of here and, and all that. Yesterday, Lisa and I did a bit of cleanup in here and we got things a little bit better. And uh, this is the wall I've got to work with right now, this entire span right here. Now the refrigerator out here in the garage, our outside refrigerator used to be right there where the toolbox is now. Uh, that was a biggie. I put this up yesterday, which is a partition to stash wood for the winter time because we have a wood burning stove. Um, this little cart here is something I threw together for the uh, table or the, uh, the bandsaw and the sander. And it can be moved around. Um, it's on casters. So that can be stashed wherever. But what I want to do is uh, put a bench all along this wall. Um, this table saw has yet to find a home where I can actually set it up and use it. I need to find a part for it. It's a nice 10 inch jet table saw that I picked up relatively cheap. It's got a nice Beesmeyer rip fence. It's got the extension table. Um, it's a really nice saw, but really don't have a place to fully set it up. So it's been serving as a workbench for quite a while. A lot of videos have happened right here on top of this, this workbench. This is the extension portion of the table that I've kind of beat to hell over time. Uh, that thing saw a lot of use in uh, the build for the Sabre. But it's going to have to get stashed uh, somewhere else for now because, like I said, this is all going to be work surface. So what we're after is from here all the way to there, I want a horizontal surface. Nothing but open workbench surface. Three feet wide, three feet tall. And then on the walls up above it is where I'll make some storage for uh, whatever, um, shelving, just like I did out in the workshop. Let's go take a look at that. The workshop, okay, so this is the, uh, the storage I did out here uh, last year. I did a video on this, in fact, and it's all just some simple stuff that's attached to the wall. Um, I put ledgers on the wall, as you can see right there. That's called a ledger. That's screwed to the wall. Then there's a shelf attached to that. And then these uprights hold everything together and they go all the way down to the floor. Well, I can do something similar to this on the wall out there. 
and uh, possibly just bring those down to where they sit on the workbench. Over here is another one I did, and that one runs all the way to the floor as well. And uh, well, it could use a little organizing in here also, but hey, I'm a busy guy making those videos every week for you guys, so <laughs> there's not a lot of time to always organize. And uh, the workbench in here is a lot better than the one out there. It's kind of a, uh, an improvement on that. It's a similar setup. It's got an overhead light and it's a little wider and uh, taller. So it just works out a whole lot better. But that kind of storage is what I'm after out there in the garage, shelves like that. And uh, I'd like to leave a space available above the workbench like I've done here where I can just hang things, tool racks, etc., some parts, bins, stuff like that. Um, I'm not a fan of pegboard. I don't like the way the hooks go on and they tend to fall off a lot real easy unless you, you know, put them in place. I'm a big fan of just plain old drywall screws stuck wherever you want them and then you just hang your tools on that. And parts bins. Got to find some more parts bins like these. Uh, pick these up at a yard sale and um, some of these over here, yard sale items as well. That one I actually bought brand new, but there are places to get those, so that's gonna help out with the organization out there too. Okay, so here's the space. First thing I need to do is measure how much room I've got so I can make some plans. So, like I said, I want the workbench to go from here to there. I've got cabinets on the wall to think about. Um, they'll probably have some better doors put on them later. These cabinets that are in here now have got giant doors. Whoever made them originally really wasn't thinking much about what they were doing. Uh, it's kind of inconvenient to open a door that's nearly, you know, over three feet wide and uh, the canoe is overhead. That kind of thumps into it. It's a little crazy. So this is another project. This will all be reworked later as well. But for right now, let's measure from the end of this workbench all the way down to the toolbox and see what we have. Well, that measures about 14 feet and I think I could probably run with that dimension for now. Um, let's just write it down as 14 feet. So I've got a pad of paper here and we'll just do a quickie sketch. Okay, now the other thing I need to be concerned about is this window. Anything I do on the wall here, any kind of planning, I need to keep in mind the windows there and I want to work around that. So I need to measure up all of this space on the wall so I can figure out what kind of shelving I'm going to make. So uh, I think this bench, as I recall, is six feet long and indeed it is. So I can just figure six feet down from where the bench starts is where the window starts. I'll just make a note of that on here. We'll just put the window in place, six feet to that. Now I need to know how wide the window is, so we'll measure that up. And that's about, uh, let's just call it 48 inches. <clears throat> and then that leaves whatever room left on the end based on the 14 feet. Now, height. These uh, ceilings are pretty tall in here, so let's see. I'll get a measurement on what that is. that up to the ceiling and we'll just run the tape down to the floor and that's about a 10 foot ceiling in here so I've got quite a bit of room overhead so the ceilings are 10 feet and let's see the window I need to figure out uh, where that's at the bench is three feet tall the window starts at about three feet And it's about four feet up from there, so that's seven feet total. And that's about all I need. Now I can actually sit down, do some sketches, figure out what type of bench I want to make, how I want it configured, and start getting a materials list together. This is my sheet with the dimensions uh, that I just took pretty rough drawing, but it's got the basic um, measurements I want. I've got some graph paper here 
kind of nice to work with when you're drawing plans and you can set up the scale to whatever you want based on the grid. First thing I'm going to do is put a line for the floor down here. So that's that's my baseline. Three squares equals one foot. And so then I would be at 14 feet right here. So let's go with that. So we'll just say uh, each square equals three inches. That's our scale. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 feet. So there's the uh, overall length of everything we're going to work with. So let's just draw a couple lines here. That's our boundary left to right. Okay, so we want this to be three feet tall. So we'll go one, two, three feet. So that's the height of the workbench. We'll get a line there. And as far as the workbench goes, we're going to cover that in uh, some, probably some uh, OSB oriented strand board. That stuff's pretty reasonably priced. That's what I've used on all my other workbenches. Works pretty good if you reinforce it underneath with some uh, two by fours. It's going to get rid of some of these other lines here. And uh, well, we've got 14 feet. They come in eight foot lengths. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight feet to there. That's at least one sheet. I'm going to make the bench three feet wide. So if it's a four by eight sheet, that's only going to leave me one foot left over. And I need to go one more span. So I guess I can figure on at least two sheets of uh, four by eight OSB. So let's write that over here. Two, four foot by eight foot OSB. Now we're going to make this out of uh, two by fours all of the framework for the bench and we're gonna get started on the bench first and then we'll worry about planning out all the shelves and all that later. Okay if we were to look at an end view of the bench um, and this page we'll go ahead and scale it up a little bit bigger. Let's go with uh, uh, six squares equaling a foot so that's two inches for each square. So let's see there's, uh, there's one two and three. So this, let's just say that's the top of the bench. We'll come up three feet as well. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and put a baseline here for the floor. And we're just gonna draw this out like just a simple box. Three feet by three feet. Just for the sake of making it really easy to plan, I'm going to make the framework three feet tall. The OSB will go on top of that, and it's probably going to be 5 8 inch OSB, or maybe half inch, but it'll add a little dimension to it. No biggie there. The 2 by 4s Now, what I usually do is I make a, a space frame uh, out of, well, I'll just give you a quick drawing here uh, off to the side kind of an isometric perspective drawing, whatever you want to call it. So this is what I like to do. I just make a, a space frame out of two by fours. Like so. And then uh, I put the legs on the inside of them so we can put like a leg right here that'll come down and then we'll put another one right here and that'll be on the inside of the frame. So if we look at this dimension here and I draw that piece all the way across and we said that this is gonna be two, so there's two, let's just, uh, we'll draw it out. Uh, two by fours, by the way, aren't really two inches by four inches, they're one and a half by three and a half. So if each one of these is two inches that's four, let's just draw a line right about there, and that's where that two by four is gonna fall. So, there we go. 
And that would this would be an end view, mind you. So if we want to look at where the two by fours will butt into that, we'll just put a dotted line on the end. And that's a good indicator that you're looking at something on the other side of this. Okay. Now we've got uh, some two by fours that are going to be coming down here. Now I can do them one of two ways. I could do them so that they're like this, or I could put them over on this plane. So, you know, they would be sitting either. Um, now let me give you an overhead view here on the same page. Let's go ahead and draw that up above. If you were looking at the end of the table from overhead. Oh, this is just going to be one end. And remember, we're looking from the top down. And uh, just to do an indicator that this continues on and we're only seeing part of it, a little line like that is a good indicator on a on a shop drawing. So this 2x4, if we're looking at it from the top, that's 2 inches right there, and it's only an inch and a half wide, so we'll put a line right there. So there's the end 2x4, seen from above. And then the other 2x4 would butt up against that, like so. And when you put this together, you put it together with three inch drywall screws, screws. you uh, pre-drill some holes into the end here of these guys, and then you run the screws in that way. So there'd be two screws in the end of each one of these, okay? So, we probably are gonna have to have some other supports running across as we go down the line. So over here, again, to our quickie little space drawing, let's just pretend that this is uh, a 14 foot span. So somewhere in the middle there, two by fours, I can get in 16 foot lengths. So I could buy a couple of 16 footers. It'd be good to run an extra one right down the middle here. Also uh, oriented vertically to help with the support on the table. So let's just figure on three 16 footers there to start out with. So we'll just make a note of that real quick. Three, two by four by 16. That'll take care of uh, those dimensions here. That'll cover the whole workbench. And then on each end, I've got three and three, there's six. That's gonna be at least one eight footer um, with two feet left over. So, uh, Let's see, we'll just go two by four by eight. And for now, we'll just put one there. That number is going to change as we start planning this a little more. Okay, so we've got that one covered, that one covered, that one, this one, and this one. And some of those leftover pieces could probably go in here for a little extra reinforcement. So We'll just take those out of the leftovers from the 16 footers and the eight footers. No problem there because that's only one and a half feet across there, approximately. We'll get into that later. Now we need to factor in uh, our feet, the legs. We're gonna put those at three feet. So that's uh, gonna be at least, well, how many legs do we want? We want one at each corner for sure, right? So there's at least four legs. That would be nice to have maybe an extra one at the back. So that's five. I'd rather not have too many in the front uh, because they might kind of get in the way of working around the workbench, but we should probably have at least one in there somewhere because 16 feet is quite a span without any support. So, uh, yeah, you know, one or two even. If we do... Uh, well, 14 feet, I should say. Sorry about that. Um, and this is three feet. So we should probably do one at eight feet. So let's uh, we'll throw that one in there too. So we let's say we got six legs. Each one of them is three feet. Well, an eight foot two by four is going to give us two of those. So let's just say there's one, two, three more eight footers. So we'll change that number now from one to four. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to worry about? Might not be a bad idea to put an extra one across this way, here and here. Uh, maybe even here, why not? We'll do them there. And the reason for that is then underneath we can add some shelves 
to the underside of the workbench for storage up off the floor. So that three feet of space that we have underneath here, we could actually uh, run a piece across and we can put shelving in there. That would be quite handy. It doesn't have to come all the way to the front. It can just be a half shelf and we can stash things in there. So that might be a good idea. So let's see, that's, uh, that's three more pieces. And each one of those is uh, three feet. So there's another eight foot two by four. Yeah, probably another one. Let's make that not four now, but six. So now we're up to, uh, let's see, what do we have over here? We had two four by eight sheets of OSB, three two by four by 16 foot, six two by four by eight foot. That should cover the building of the workbench. So anytime you're working with making some kind of a space frame out of two by fours, take the overall length, minus out the inch and a half if it's on each end, and then cut this piece accordingly. Pretty simple. So we've got all that figured out. Uh, let's go ahead and write a materials list down now over on this page. Two by fours, uh, let's see, we've got eight footers, we want six, and you know what? I always like to add one extra. So let's make it seven. So we got seven, two by four by eight, two inch, four inch, eight foot. And then we've got, uh, let's see, three 16 footers for the top of the bench. So we'll put three, two by four by 16. And to put all this stuff together, we're gonna need a bunch of three inch drywall screws. So uh, let's go ahead and put a box of those on. Maybe two boxes, that should do the trick. So two boxes, three inch, we'll just call it screws. I know what type I'm getting. And that's my material list. That's pretty much it to get the bench put together. So that about wraps up this week's video. I wanted to get across to you the basic idea of how I plan out a construction project like this and hopefully it'll help you out if you wanna make a workbench or some shelves or whatever kind of a project. Just get a rough idea, take some measurements of the space you have to work in, figure out what your design parameters are, draw something on a piece of paper, Use a Google SketchUp program or computer program if you prefer. I like pencil and paper. The spontaneity of it is just kind of nice. Graph paper's handy. You can set it up to any scale you want. And then draw up your plans. Get a rough idea down first. Do some measurements. Figure out if it's going to work in your workplace. And then from that drawing, you can calculate what your materials are going to be. Always add a little extra than you think you're gonna need. Save a trip to the hardware store and it's always nice to have the extra lumber around for future projects. So I hope this helped you out. Next week we'll get building the bench and uh, getting it set up in here. Really looking forward to that because uh, as a lot of you have seen in past videos, I've been working on a concrete floor or on a little mobile uh, bench set up on sawhorses and whatnot. And that's okay for some stuff, but not for everything. Well, anyway, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, thanks for the donations, and until next time.